Good morning, Carubbers. I'm going to read Psalm 34 and pray for us this morning. Psalm 34, the Lord delivers the righteous. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will boast in the Lord. The humble will hear and be glad. Proclaim the Lord's greatness with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and rescued me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant with joy. Their faces will never be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. How happy is the person who takes refuge in him. You who are his holy ones, fear the Lord, for those who fear him lack nothing. Young lions lack food and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is someone who desires life, loving a long life to enjoy what is good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from deceitful speech. Turn away from evil and do what is good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry for help. The face of the Lord is set against those who do what is evil to remove all memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near the brokenhearted. He saves those crushed in spirit. One who is righteous has many adversities, but the Lord rescues them from them all. He protects all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil brings death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord redeems the life of his servants, and all who take refuge in him will not be punished. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise and bless you this morning for this precious reminder that you hear our cries for deliverance. Help us, Father, to praise your name and always to speak of your greatness. May our lives boast in you and bear testimony before others that they may hear and be glad. Like David, we acknowledge the difficult circumstances around us, but we are confident in you. That when we seek you and look to you in loving trust, that you answer us. You come near and deliver us from our fears and you make us radiant with joy so that we can walk without shame. Father, I thank you that you hear our cries and save and rescue us. Even when we may not know what to say or how to say it, you hear us in our pain, in our desperation, fear, sorrow, when we're at our lowest. We thank you for your protection and deliverance. Lord, in these days of confusion, fear, and many other emotions, we cry out to you. We praise you that you hear us. Lord, help us to cry out to you, knowing that you hear us. May any of us who are fearful today, Father, cry out to you, knowing that you are near and that you will come close to us. May we taste and see your goodness for ourselves in the beautiful world you have created. We thank you for the beauty of spring and the new life that we are beginning to see. Open our eyes, Lord, to taste and to see your goodness. Father, help us to seek our refuge in you. No matter what is troubling our hearts and minds today, help us to find joy in you, knowing that you are the place where we will find true safety, rest and comfort. Thank you that when we take refuge in you, we are safe, loved, secure, held, happy and content, and that we do not lack anything. Help us to fear you, to respect and revere you more than men, turning from evil and seeking peace. Lord, you see your children and your ears are open to our cries for help. We thank you that you are close to the brokenhearted and that you save us when we are crushed with sorrow for our sins. Lord, you are near. We praise you that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. We look to you, Father. We trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.